welcome back to my channel today. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you a very exciting video and we're going to go ahead and do a drugstore makeup starter kit. And if you guys are new to makeup or if you guys are a little bit iffy on which makeups to get, which ones are the best ones, which ones are the worst ones, I'm going to go ahead and show you on which ones have worked for me and that I recommend for you. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell just to get notified whenever I get it new videos up on my channel. So if you guys haven't followed me yet, go ahead and follow me on jessiedavila1 on Instagram and on Facebook and let's go ahead and begin. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a starter kit that you could get at your local drugstore. It's basically the best of the best products that I have tried that worked for me. I do have dry to sensitive acne prone skin. If you guys are oily, these products also work for you, the top items that you guys are able to use even if you are oily. So I'm gonna go ahead and start in the process that you would normally apply your makeup. So go ahead and for, begin. So we're first gonna start off with primer and the reason why you need a primer is basically to make your makeup last longer and just to prevent your makeup from sliding off. So if you guys have dry to normal skin, I highly recommend the NYX Angel Veil, which is one of my go-to. And I use this just to kind of smooth out my skin and just make it ready for foundation so the foundation doesn't sink into my wrinkles or pores or anything like that. If you guys are more on the oily side, I do recommend the Neutrogena Shine Control. I used to use this when my face was really oily, so this is what I used to use back then. Now I just use the NYX Angel Veil, and that's kind of what's been working for me since my skin is a little bit more on the dry combination side. Oily, go ahead and check out the Neutrogena one. Works really, really good. You would just apply this on your T-zone or wherever you get oily, and then this helps really good to minimize the look of pores. So this just controls your oiliness, and this actually smooths out your skin. So both of them, as a combination when you guys do have oily skin work out really, really good. For foundation, I like having something compact that applies medium to full coverage and that I could also use it very light when I don't wanna to wear too much makeup. So I actually love the Wet n Wild Cushion. This is a little bit more of a newer foundation and this one helps, it does have a little sponge. This one helps when I'm on the go or I don't have time to apply makeup or any glass containers, like I said, this is a very affordable makeup. They come in a variety of shades, and I actually um, have that in Classic Ivory, but normally it gives you light to medium coverage. But as you can see, that's what I have on my face right now. I applied just one even layer, and it just made all my breakouts and everything just kind of go away. On this one, if you guys do want to do full coverage, you would just apply a second layer. So I like it because it's very versatile and it doesn't make you look cakey or dry or anything like that. If you guys do have oily skin, I do recommend to set this foundation. So yeah. actually setting powder, I love using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. It does get messy, but it just applies on the skin very beautifully and it just gives you a nice airbrush look, which is what I use on my skin. As you can see, it is very airbrushed, very smooth, and obviously you cannot apply filters when you're filming, so this is literally live. So on this one, I do have it in fair. They do have a variety of colors. It does come with the little, as you can see, you just apply it on the cap and then just apply. I use this to set my makeup, to carve on my contour, and just to set my foundation. So I use it for everything. Normally I would have three different powders just to set my foundation. But like I said, for full coverage, I just use two layers of this and then I just set it with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and it just gives me the most flawless full coverage finish without making me look cakey and I don't even have to touch up the makeup. And sometimes if you guys do smear, since my eyes do get watery, you apply this over it when your makeup gets smeared and you can't even tell that your eyes got watery or anything like that. So I love how you can fix your makeup with it and actually just apply it and it just works very beautifully. For correcting, I love the Rimmel Dark Circle Redness and Dullness Corrector. It's the Insta Conceal and Correct. It looks something like this. It is very creamy, very pigmented, and as you can see, this one gives you, like that's just one swipe. How crazy is that? So you basically just use this one. As you can see, it's actually labeled, but this one helps to conceal dark circles. This one I use for like pimples and this one's kind of when I have any like shadowing on my face. It comes with a cute little mirror and it's very affordable under five bucks and it works awesome. Like I used to carry different um, correctors with me and it just wasn't travel friendly and it was just take up a lot of space. This little palette works amazing. For concealer, I love to use a Maybelline Fit Me concealer. This has been my like go-to concealer. It's very 
easy to blend and you could actually layer if you guys want more of a full coverage but on easy days these this one is amazing I wanted to get products that you could use when you want it light to medium coverage or when you actually want a full coverage so all these items that I'm actually showing you you're able to layer them to apply it when you guys want full coverage like on a wedding or if you guys are coming out on a huge event or just want to look nice in pictures you guys are able to layer all these products and make it look flawlessly or if you guys just have to go to the grocery store or have a picnic or something to go to or go to the beach and you guys still want to have a decent looking appearance then you guys are able to use all these items and just apply a one layer of it and you guys will still look very flawlessly so this concealer I have mine in ivory which they did come out with the lighter shade and darker shade so which is awesome so you guys are able to get a variety of colors and I also use this for contouring I do have a darker shade and I use that to cream contour and like I said they're compact they're affordable and they're easy to blend for bronzer I love using the true match lumi bronze it they do have different shades of this and it's very buttery obviously it's huge I use this to contour uh, my body or if I need um, it's not too warm it doesn't have sparkles and it just applies the makeup so beautifully it doesn't look chalky or if you guys want to start into bronzing and don't want to start with blush normally you could just apply your foundation your powder and then just use bronzer a lot of people I know and I sometimes even use just bronzer instead of blush because sometimes it's just easier and it's just less steps you got to do so this is a really good bronzer I got this in a light and I believe they have two or three more shades of this it's very creamy it's a huge pan very affordable and the color is very very good I love using the bake the Milani baked this it's not too pink it's not too peach so if you guys are just starting off you want to get more of a peachy tone blush just to kind of start off and not get too crazy with blush a lot of the times a lot of people go with the hot pink blush and sometimes you want more of a natural more glowy skin that one gives you a very flawless finish it's what I use right now and it's my go-to drugstore blush and it's with the brand called Milani and for highlight obviously nowadays if you don't have highlight, like I don't know where you guys been because highlight right now is the thing. The more highlight, the better. So my favorite one is a Maybelline Master Chrome. This is the Molten Rose Gold. For my particular complexion, I like the rose gold better on me than the actual gold. If you guys are more of an olive tone, then I would recommend the gold. This is more of a rosy highlight for me this color stands out a little bit better on my skin and it's what I currently have right now on my actual face and this is what it looks like just gives you a nice beautiful beautiful uh pink color or not pink color but like a very highlighted look on your cheeks without looking chalky it's very buttery and it just makes it look very very smooth I have two different options if you guys are starting off the best one that I have tried that doesn't clump up or doesn't um smear all over your face it's a wet and wild mega mega liner this is a regular one this is not the actual waterproof one because i know the waterproof one has a different brush this one as you can see it's very flexible very thin at the end so it helps you create the most beautiful wing and this one doesn't irritate my eyes doesn't make them um watery or anything like that so it works there you go it works really really good and it just applies very beautifully and it does dry a little matte not too much I notice sometimes with the matte liners for me I sometimes I like them sometimes I don't this is a basic not too glossy not too matte so this is like the perfect little um, eyeliner that you guys could use I'm not and comfortable it's with the actual liquid liner I do have this one which is my go-to which I actually kind of lost the lid but this is a Rimmel Wonder Ombre holographic eyeliner and it works really beautifully and I love the fact that if you guys want more of a smoky you guys could use this like dark purplish black color instead of using too harsh and then this one has a nude eyeliner so if you guys want more of a neutral you guys could use this one and if you guys want more of a smoky you guys could use this one all in the same little um, container but like I said I lost my lid but this one is very very beautifully and it stays on the um, it stays on the waterline without budging and it works awesome and it has obviously both in one. I just are new to eyebrows. I don't recommend using the pomade because the pomade is a little bit harder to work with and you do need a brush for that and sometimes the brushes are not under $10. And then sometimes with the powder right now in the summer, the powder just seems to wipe off and it doesn't last as long. So for me, I prefer 
this is a perfect in-betweener. It gives you, it's what I use right now, it stays all day and actually it's easier to apply. It's not too harsh. This is the next Sculpt and Highlight Brow Contour. This is a taupe if you guys are platinum, if you guys have light hair, if you guys are of a darker blonde, this is the best eyebrow pencil you guys could get. They do have an ash brown, which is the one I would recommend for brunettes. Or even if you have dark hair and you don't want black eyebrows, the ash brown from NYX is amazing. And it just gives you the most flawless eyebrows. They stay on all day, especially in the summer when you're sweating and it's hot. These stay on your eyebrows. So if, you, if your eyebrows have been wiping off or they don't last throughout the day, don't use the powder anymore, just stick to a pencil and it just works a little bit better. So in and combination with this, I just use a little spoolie on, on the actual eyebrow, the e.l.f. eyebrow brush, and it just kind of smooths out the front just to kind of give it like a nice ombre effect. So with these two combinations, or sometimes if I just want more of a lighter brow, I use the same pencil and then just kind of apply it like that. But like I said, powder doesn't last as long, and then the pomades are too harsh for your eyebrows if you guys just want more of a natural look. So this, you could do, if you guys want more of a sculpted, you guys could just do a little bit, do a second layer of it. If you guys want more of a lighter, just apply this a little bit with a lighter hand, and then you guys could go ahead and brush off the ends just to make it a nice, beautiful ombre brow. So like I said, this is the next one. I actually don't use the highlight as much, but it's a good option if you guys do wanna have the highlight, and it's all in one as well. And to actually apply the foundation, I love using the Real Technique ones. These are some of the limited edition ones that they do have, but normally it is, they're normally orange all the way around, but this one has a flat side and then a pointy side to apply the concealer. A lot of people um, don't wet these and then wonder why their makeup doesn't apply beautifully. So normally I would recommend just to wet them a few times underneath the faucet and then squeeze them out and then apply water a little bit more, squeeze it out, and then when it's semi-damp, then that's when you would actually apply foundation. And then instead of rubbing it, you would just bounce it all around the face just to give you a nice airbrush effect instead of using brushes because brushes seem to give you a very streaky look and it just doesn't apply as much coverage. This one applies coverage. So if you guys are beginners, I recommend applying your makeup with a sponge instead of a brush. Lashes, it's not a necessity for a starter kit, but if you guys sometimes want a little bit more of a glam look, I do love the Eyelure London Definition number 126. These are my go-to lash. The band is not too thick, not too thin, which are easy but workable. And these is actually like a little starter kit. It comes with the little tweezers to hold on to the actual eyelash when you guys are applying them. And then this comes with the glue. So it's basically all in one that you guys are actually able to use. And you guys just get this under five bucks and you guys are able to re reuse these. These are the ones I have right now. And they actually last, this is probably like my third time wearing these and they're still holding on strong. So I lure the number 126 on my go-to favorite drugstore. Um, lashes so for palettes um, I they do have a lot of drugstore palettes um, normally with eyeshadows I do tend to go a little bit on a little bit more of a pricier end because a lot of them are very chalky so I rather have one good palette than to have five small ones so in my end I ended up going with I recommend going with the makeup revolution Sophie X this one other oldest palette but I actually love it. It comes with a variety, like this section is neutral and this has a pop of color and they're very buttery is what I use right now. I've been using it. It's one, it has a huge mirror and two, it's under $10 and it's very affordable. You could get yours at Ulta or you could get them online or on Amazon. And they have awesome, beautiful lid colors, beautiful transition colors. They have mattes, shimmers, they have dramatic, they have neutrals. This just has everything in one. Eyeshadow's not a necessity, but sometimes when you do want to glam it up, you do need a little bit of color on your lid just to give you a little bit more of a glamorous look. This one, like I said, has all in one. It's under $10. It's one compact. So if you guys want to build a kit, you don't want to have like 10 different little pods or different eyeshadow palettes. This just has everything you guys need. Like I said, it has your neutrals, your mattes, your shimmers, your highlights. Sometimes I even use this pink one as a highlighter. And then sometimes I use these brown ones as like my contouring or like even your eyebrows. Sometimes when I travel, I'll go ahead and show you a separate travel pack, like a tra separate travel makeup bag that I use. 
and I'll show you you can use these for your eyebrows I use this for my highlighter sometimes I use it for my transition for my lower lash line for my eyebrows like I use this palette for everything and I've been using it for the past few months and I have not made a dent they're very buttery so it's easier to work with especially when you're a beginner it just basically helps you blend out your makeup on its own without having to put too much work into it so if you guys are starter I recommend that palette it has everything you would need to start with eyeshadow if you guys are new to eyeshadow as well I do have a variety of them depends on what your style is if you guys want more of a long lasting um, I love the what are they called the wet and wild mega last liquid capsules these are my favorite I have these in every color especially in like red and all that so this is a very neutral color which is currently what I have right now it's actually picking up a little bit orange but it's very neutral on me and this is a shade nudist peach so if you guys are a little bit on the lighter this is like the perfect nude if you guys are darker it will still work for you so this is good for light to medium skin tones and it's very it doesn't have this is one of the few liquid lipsticks on the drugstore that do not have a weird smell it actually smells kind of like candy they're affordable under five dollars and the colors are perfect like we just had lunch and my lips are still on like it's amazing so long lasting get yourself the wet and wild these are affordable sometimes they're buy one get one free or on the glossier side i love the infallible paint this is from l'oreal my favorite one is a 316 in wild rose if you guys want a little bit of a pop of color this one works really really beautiful and they do have a lot of amazing colors so go ahead and check them out if you guys want more affordable gloss check out the elf this one i believe is just a nude color and um, you just squeeze it and it comes out and it's very very pretty so if you guys are on a budget check out the check out the elf ones i have used their plumping lip gloss and they are bomb like the elf one plump plumping lip gloss are bomb if you guys want to spend more than three bucks on it these are a little bit more this is probably out of these three it's probably a little bit this is the most expensive one this is if you guys are on the go and don't want lipstick but i still want a little bit of color i recommend this for like easy on the go to apply these are a little bit longer lasting and they're a little bit more affordable this is a little bit more pricier but if you guys want more of a gloss this is basically a gloss and lip gloss in gloss and lipstick and one this is more of a glossy lip balm and then this is more like stay on big event or somewhere that you guys don't want your makeup to budge if you guys go to work or whatnot or an event this is what you would use because they just stay on and they have a lot of beautiful colors for mascara i have tried several i actually I'll go ahead and show you. I'm doing a decluttering video that has worked for me and doesn't clump, doesn't irritate my eyes. It's the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. It's so beautiful. One, the packaging is amazing and it's one of the blackest blacks. And I love because the actual brush is more of a rubber tip. I use the ends to get like inside like the inner portion of my actual lashes because they're so tiny and they just don't blend. This one, because of the actual little ball at the end, it allows me to blend my regular eyelashes with my lashes. If you guys are just using it for mascara, this gives me like the fake lash look without being too clumpy or without having spider eyelashes like that one. You use two coats and you guys are able to have really bomb lashes. It gives you volume and length and it just doesn't get all over your face throughout the day. So that is my recommendation for the actual mascara. And if you guys have different recommendations that you guys would love for me to try, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. And I hope you guys like these type of videos. Don't forget to comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on social media, jessiedavila1 on Instagram and on Facebook. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.